In this video today, I've got the ultimate comparison of camping chairs. And we're gonna look at the full spectrum of options for every budget, everything from these cheap department store chairs to more expensive options, but also every style that you can imagine to help you decide which chair makes the most sense for you and your camping needs. The first chair we'll talk about today comes from TCEK. This is a nice compact option that is gonna make it possible for you to take pretty much anywhere with you because it doesn't take up a lot of space. But this chair at a $100 price point has some really cool features to it. So here you've got a Velcro strap that keeps everything together. And then you're just gonna flip this upside down and your arms fall out. But in order to get tension onto the chair seat, you're gonna slide these arms. And you've got these little button locks here that lock it into place. And you're gonna do that on all four sides. Now you've got your tension on your seat. But then here at the base, you've got four legs and it's spring loaded. So you're gonna just let those flip out and it makes for a really nice stable platform. You've got flat plastic feet here that make it sit really strong. This has some cool features to it. The first one is that it swivels in a full 360 degree rotation. If I spin too much, I'm just gonna make myself throw up because I get nauseous really easy. The hub here for the swivel is really well built. It's smooth and it seems like it's gonna last a long time as well. You've got a seat here that's really comfortable to sit in. It's a nice lounge position, but I can also sit up in it without feeling like I'm gonna fall over or anything. Now this has a 17 inch sitting height, which is a lot higher than other small chairs like this, which is awesome because I want a chair that is easy for me to get in and out of without feeling like I'm a super old man <laughs> trying to get in and out of a chair that sits really low to the ground. But it's also nice because it's a low profile chair. I'm not taking up a lot of space with this chair. And that's important because when you're at a campsite and you're sitting around your campfire, a lot of times camping chairs take up so much space. But you've also got some other cool features that I should point out. One is that you've got this pocket right here that makes it possible for you to put small gear items like your phone or whatever. But one thing that I'll note is you don't have a cup holder with this chair. I don't have anywhere to put a drink, which is obviously something you're gonna have with you out on a camping trip. So I'm gonna be putting that down on the ground and I could see in this swivel action, uh, I forgot I put my soda right here and poof, I just knocked over my drink. It's not a deal breaker by any means. It also doesn't have any armrests, but for a chair that's compact like this, you can see I'm just finding myself in a really natural, enjoyable sitting position and it's, it's really comfortable that way. On the seat of the chair, you've got a mesh bottom here that allows for some good airflow and then a nice strong ripstop material here at the top. The build quality of this is fantastic with the frame here. I also wanna thank TCEK for sending me this chair to check out and share with you guys and for supporting the channel as a sponsor and helping me uh, share cool products like this with you guys. Now the next option here is the most classic design of a camping chair that I think we're all familiar with. And this is one from Ozark Trails and it is probably the lowest cost chair we'll talk about today. I think we paid 20, 25 bucks for this. But this is a really approachable way to get a decent camping chair at a really low cost that uh, is gonna do the job if you're just going out on occasional camping trips. But we use these styles of chairs for all sorts of things, picnics, hanging out at the beach, hanging out uh, next to a parade, all of that kind of stuff. So it's not just a camping option, but these are just classic. I would say they're not the most comfortable uh, sitting option. That chair we talked about previously definitely is more comfortable than this, but I like the armrests on it. I like that you've got cup holders here, but when you sit down in this chair, what always happens is you get pressure on your legs from the way that the legs go together and it sits very upright. I can't really lounge back in the chair. And these chairs also suffer from durability issues. Down here at the base, the legs are always breaking at the rivets where it pivots for you to uh, fold the chair up. I mean, for the price point, this option is kind of a no-brainer. You've all probably got two or three of these 
in your house right now, but over time they just kind of start to fall apart and not be the best option from a longevity standpoint. But if you're only going out on occasional trips, it's not the worst thing in the world and can be a good way for you to get a fairly comfortable chair into your car, into the backcountry for you to enjoy on a camping trip. If you want to upgrade a little bit here, then you can move to a Kelty low chair, but they also have a higher uh, seat height than this one. But this is a much higher build quality, but still very similar style. Got a pretty cool carry bag right there. This is actually a chair that we got for our kids because my wife and I, we got the love seat version of this, but we got the low version because it makes it possible to just hang out and relax and lounge a bit more. The ability for you to enjoy this chair, I think is a little bit higher <laughs> than that one right there, uh, but you've got a really nice cup holder here. The seating position of this feels better. It's just a higher quality frame and seat design. Even though it's not substantially different, you do notice a difference when you're sitting in this chair versus that cheap Ozark Trail one. This comes in at a price point of $70, so a pretty significant increase over the cheaper ones. But if you're going out more often, this is probably a better option for you because it's gonna last longer, comes from a brand that also has a good warranty, good customer service, and I like that aspect a lot as well. And if I rotate this just over a little bit more, I'm gonna show you something here on the armrest of the chair. And this I really like that Kelty put on this chair because you've got a ladder lock back here with a piece of webbing that lets you adjust the height of the armrest. You can make it go lower or you can raise it up. And that ladder lock is a really nice touch on this chair compared to this Ozark Trail one because there's just like a rubber grommet back here that over time, when you put a lot of weight on that, it's just gonna constantly slip down and maybe not be in the position that you want it to. So a ladder lock right there does make a huge difference in the experience that you have with this chair. This thing is fantastic. I like this low down option. But like I said, you do have the ability to get this same chair in a taller sitting height if you don't want the, the low seating height for this chair. But it's great. I like it. Now the most bougie, fancy, expensive chair we'll talk about today at a price point of $300 is the Nemo Stargaze. This is a chair that I don't think is for everybody because it's pretty like niche in what you would use it for because I don't think it is the best option as a do it all camping chair. But this thing is sweet. So let me get it all put together and then we'll talk about it. So the Nemo Stargaze is a chair that has been redone and copied by many other companies at this point in their own variation. So you can find a chair like this for much less than $300, but Nemo's the originator of it and they got something pretty cool going on here. This is the most luxurious, bougie chair that we're talking about today that's got a lot going for it, but it's not the best do-it-all chair in my opinion for being around the campfire. It is very much a kick back, lounge back, and just enjoy gazing at the stars, looking at the clouds, and taking a load off. But it's a little uncomfortable when you are trying to do things that are outside of the chair. Um, the fact that it is always moving can be kind of annoying. It can get a little unstable if you lean too far forward, but I like that you've got the rocking action. So maybe you've got kids and you want to rock your, your child to sleep uh, to help them have a good night of rest. You got the option to do that. You got a cup holder right here. You got a place to put your phone and you've just got a really high quality product here that is very enjoyable. But like I said, it's not the best do it all chair, but this thing is freaking cool. It's built like a tank and I like it. So that's the Stargaze. Let's just lounge back here and enjoy ourselves. You also got a little pillow right here for your head. This is nice. 
Okay, let's talk about the next chair. The next couple of chairs we'll talk about here, take a design cue from that classic Helinox fold-up backpacking style chair and enlarge them into a more camping focused chair. This is the Big Agnes Big Six armchair. Now, this chair has a lot going for it, but it's also got one big glaring issue, and that is the price point. They are charging $249 for this chair, which is a crazy amount of money. And you might ask, Devin, did you pay that much money for that chair? Yes, I did. Because <laughs> I really wanted to check this out. I am not even going to lie at the comfort level that you get from this chair. It's one of my favorite camping chairs I've ever used. But the price point is just so high. I don't see why Big Agnes can get away with charging this much for this chair. It's also got one other issue with it because of the design. This is not the most stable chair in wind in any way when you are not sitting in it. So you have the issue of this blowing over really easy into your campfire. Hasn't happened to me yet. And I say yet because I'm almost expecting it to happen. But aside from those issues, I love this chair. I love the way that it sits, the comfort. It doesn't have any weird pressure points. It's got cup holders on each side and the armrests are very enjoyable and it doesn't sit as upright as other chairs uh, that you can get that are a folding style chair. It's got a nice high back so you can lean your head back against it, but this is really, really enjoyable and I've had it for several years at this point. It's in excellent condition and a nice option. But for $100, a full $100 less, you've got this Grand Peak chair from Kilos Gear that also has, holy muddy shoes, Devin, the option to add this footstool for about $44, $45. This chair has more options to it, more going for it than this Big Agnes, and let's talk about it. You've got the footstool as an option, but on the chair itself, no, you don't have the full armrests with the cup holders attached to it, but you do have these flaps here that do function as a padded armrest. So I'm able to put my elbows down and they've got a place to sit, which is really nice. It makes the chair a lot more comfortable. I do have over on this side, a cup holder that's big enough to put a small water bottle, a can of soda, but just be careful to not let it flip around. But there's more on the foot of the chair, these actually are adjustable height feet in three different positions. So I can change the sitting height of this chair and make it more conducive to my sitting style and what I prefer out of the chair. This is great. You've also got a pillow back here that's adjustable in height with a piece of Velcro on the back. And I mean, that pillow's, it's pretty cozy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. So I think at $149, this might be a better buy because it's way less money out of your bank account, but it has a little bit more going for it in versatility. The build quality is super strong. You've got a nice robust frame that I don't see why this uh, it wouldn't be a great option. Last thing I'll mention is a zipper pocket here down at your feet or around your knees for you to put uh, any pieces of gear that you want to have secured and easy access to. And then a big mesh pocket here on the side. So this chair I think is a really nice value and something really worth considering. And then lastly here, the chairs we'll talk about are probably something that you've already got if you are primarily a backpacker that does some occasional camping where you don't necessarily want to invest into a camping specific chair. So I've got the Quechua chair from Decathlon, which is a bit more robust of a frame and a bit heavier than this REI Flex Light Air chair. This comes in at a price point of $100. And this is gonna be more geared to your backpacking crowd, but it can absolutely double as a camping chair. And the reason being is maybe you just want something super simple. It's also very lightweight. This chair has a weight of one pound and 
Very often you can also find it on sale for much less than the $100 price point. So what it has going for it is I can just get my butt off of the ground, have somewhere simple to sit when I'm on a camping trip, but it also doubles as a one-time purchase to use for camping and backpacking, and it's also high quality. But what I don't like about this chair from a camping standpoint is that you sit so low to the ground, it's a little bit harder for you to get in and out of, and if you've got the space in your car, I think having a larger chair that sits higher off the ground is more enjoyable. And this Quechua chair from Decathlon comes in at a nice price point as well that is sinking into the mud currently. <laughs> but this is gonna be a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger pack size, but this has a taller seating height than this REI chair, and it's also very comfortable. This is probably the least comfortable option of anything that we'll talk about today, but it is a one and done option if you also do a lot of backpacking. So of all of the chairs that we've talked about today, which one is your favorite and you think is the best for your camping needs? Thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later.